everyone. Today I'd like to show you how I make this beautiful pearl ring. First of all, when I made this ring, I was mainly finishing off leftover wires that I have. I normally have a container of wires that I've used like this one so I was doing some work and I wasn't happy with it so I pulled it apart but uh, I could still reuse it by straightening it but for the meantime I just put them all in here and when I do need to use some wires this is the first place I go to to pick bits and pieces so this has sterling silver beads ranging from size 2, 3 and 4 millimeters and the pearls I've got some freshwater pearls which are actually uneven in shape and this one I think it's called flat back and this is about six millimeter and also I've used some um, four millimeter freshwater gold pearls so the very first thing we are going to do oh by the way I also made this one last night so I could remember how I made it because once I make something I normally forget how I make it so these are the two different variations I got a piece of wire that's 20 gauge and 8 inches long so I'm gonna take the two ends just press the bottom or the center of the wire and put one across here put the other one across there and bring it up this is a sterling silver wire and it's half hard and which is quite springy and we're just going to center it's going to take a piece of rag here so it doesn't run away from me and i'm going to hold this two together so once you got it to the size that you want so take the center and just twist it around like that so that's a bit more loose than I wanted. But I'll just check. So that's perfect. And you just turn them around. Around those pliers. I'll just push this in a bit more towards there because we're going to flick it back anyway. That way there. I'm going to take my round nose pliers, grab the end, and I'm just going to twist it. Like that, and I'll do the same on the other side. I'll take my nylon pliers. Adjust it, Is it lifting up a bit there. Nice and flat. So now that's the base of our ring. Before we move on to the next step, it's up to you whether you want two rings or three or one so but they're all the same so that's the base for our ring to put the beads and the pearls onto so I have two pieces of wire one is 28 gauge and the other one is a 24 gauge and they're both 8 inches so that's what I've said since I made that using off cuts you can really use a short bits it doesn't really matter it's just up to you first I'm using the 24 gauge and I'm going to hook this up to here take that short wire and just wrap it around through my ring using a clamp because it's much easier to grab hold of I'm gonna do a couple of loops two or three and I am going to tighten that and put that up there Nylon pliers to tighten it. And also to set it so it doesn't wobble around. And I'm going to take one pearl and insert it. Instead of 
constructing it and see how you do your design. So I would like that pearl to sit there. So I'm going to hook this up to my round little loop there. Just so we can have something secure. And don't pull. Don't let it kink because even though this is a 0.5 millimeter or a 24 gauge, if you have nicks or marks, it will just break off. Go around again, just so for added security. And so now I would want this to go over and around I'm trying to do this part here I'm just going around but I'm doing sort of a mirror image I won't get it exactly the same because I've got different shape pearls but I'll try and get as close as I can so now I'm inserting a gold pearl and I'm just figuring out where it would sit best so if I move the pearl over here then it would end up on the other side which is not a bad idea or I could just loop this up so I take it my pearl off and move it up the top here insert it there and then that way I can have the pearl and again it's trying to kink up so when it's trying to kink up like that, just help it along, put it slowly, okay. And so now I've got the pearl sitting there, but it's going to hit a ridge there. So before I put the pearl, I'm going to put a small two millimeter sterling silver bead and insert that there. And you go in there. And go in there and do that and I would want you to go back into here so I've just inserted it back so in a way this is so difficult to show you guys how to make this but the making process or the technique really is just so easy it's just a matter of placing the beads and the pearls and you can also use other beads if you like glass beads or gemstone beads it's up to you you can even use chips gemstone chips will be good for this one as well so I've got that secured there so now again I'm going to put the pearl or the gold pearl and so the pearl would sit there if I take it there we'll have the same problem as what we started with so I'm gonna go and put that there and flick it underneath so I'm just resting that there inserting my wire underneath so it's in between the white pearl and the bead so that section there so it's just a matter of finding gaps and I'm gonna pull that but not all the way through so that way the pearl so that's nice and tight now See how underneath it looks like that, but I've secured the pearl in that corner. So now I want to move on to the other side and put another white pearl, and I am putting that on top. I will hook up my wire underneath that loop of our ring the main loop of our ring again I'm just gonna and I want to put a gold in that corner and then I'm gonna go over here I'm going to hook this up onto the side or the shoulder of my ring stay there I still have gaps on the corner there to fill it up with wire again later on so 
my little beauty here I'm gonna go under and and now I want to put a series of silver beads like this one here so those one two the three there so we'll see how many I can put I already got one there so I'll put one see how that looks or sit into the wire so that would sit like that there I would want a bigger bead and so you have one small one one bigger one and one small one again and so now I can look for a gap or I can insert this so either that way or that way that way I think would be better so I'm just gonna hook it up to this one here doing reverse so there is no pattern or a right way to do this or a wrong way except you just find a gap and keep adding on now she doesn't want to play or cooperate so if this happens we can make loops like this one there you can make little loops like that around with the wire so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and so now I've got all those things filled up there all the wire filled up I can add on a couple more small beads and another one and I'll see how it sits so actually that actually looks good that is sitting quite nicely with the three of them it looks like three of them just got stacked there so now I'm going to insert this to the side or the shoulder guide that push because it is trying to kink up and there you go now I'm gonna go and secure this and put it through so I came out on the other side put it back through where it came from because there's a gap there side just actually looking pretty so I've got some black beads here now so I'll just pick this one is an even black pearl bead and we'll see how it sits on top white again So, so far, that's the original one, and then this is what we're making. So now this one now, I'm going to loop it around. If you can see on the corner here, or on the side of the shoulder, there's a gap. And since it's going to be fiddly, I'm going to use a tweezer. And fish it out from the other side. See it sticking out there? So one, two, three, four, five. And the opposite side of that is there. So I'm gonna try for that one. We need that for the other side. Just gonna push that. And insert it back through there. So what I'm doing is just mainly finishing it off. Push that in and take it out from the other side. Push that. This is needed to be pulled tight. Just the pliers. 
pull it out, but if not, we'll get a pliers. Insert this and tuck it in. It's sticking up there, so I'm just going to tuck it up in again. Okay. So now that doesn't catch on. So with this one now. See, that was just sitting there with the, the swift work on this side first. So that one, I'm just going to put another small bead there to hide the gap. Or maybe a bigger bead, we'll see. We'll see the bigger one first, see what it looks like. If we put that there, it's a bit too big, so I'm going to use a smaller one. It's a bit better. And we're going to insert it through a black pearl here. So that gap there, you can see that gap there is where I'm going to insert it. Now it's come out of the pearl, the white pearl. So pull that through. And so this one is getting short as well, so I'm gonna secure this into this part here. I'll just pick the ones with the biggest gap. I'm just bending it curved. Because it is very, very, very fiddly. And I could do another loop or I could cut it off, but right now it's taking so long for you to see, so I'm just going to cut that off and secure that, tuck that in. I'm going to use a nylon pliers so it doesn't not, not roll on top. So far, that's what we've come up with. So you could stop there or you could continue and to continue on, you just keep adding on. So now I'm actually using the 28 gauge wire that I already got cut off here and I'm just going to continue here and hook this up to there and then I'm going to do this halfway so that way I can work on both sides. So there you go. So again, I could go on and on and make it bigger or I could just stop here. It doesn't really matter. So it's up to you what design you'd like. So, but as for that one now, I think that looks pretty good. So I just need to do a little bit of adjustment here and there, but I've added on a few more beads and pearls. So now my ring is finished. So now these two are the ones I've shown you earlier and this is the one that we've worked on. And so now finally after adding a couple more pearls and beads, it's finished.